For demonstrating how to separate columns in R, our ladies used a slightly different version of the IKEA dataset and stored it as the IKEA underscore row data frame. Before moving on to the next short videos on data frames in Julia and R, where I will be using IKEA underscore raw, I suggest you visit the link in the description below to download and load the IKEA underscore raw dataset in Julia and R. Are you looking for an easy way to split up a single column, the dimensions column in our case, into three separate columns in R and Julia? Well, it's simple. In R, all you have to do is use dplyr's separate function and pass in the into argument, a vector with the names of the new columns, and the sep argument to indicate the separation criterion. In our case, it is the x character. In Julia, you can simply use select with the not column selector to select all the columns except for the ones that need to be removed. The pairing then indicates that the string values of the dimensions column should be broken up row by row based on the X separator and the resulting columns should be labeled depth, height and width. For this video, we are going to reload the IKEA dataset in both languages once again. R's unite function combines multiple columns into a new one named long underscore description using a chosen separator like a semicolon based on the name and short underscore description columns. To get the same effect in Julia, you simply need the string function. Alternatively, you may first ensure name and short underscore description columns aren't in the final result using not. Then, via mini languages pair symbol, set these two columns as input, use by row to apply a function that merges their string values row by row, and finally name this new column long underscore description. One of the strengths of Tidyverse is to very easily create new or change existing data frame columns by using mutate. For instance, following the R Ladies tutorial, let's say we want to convert the prices in the IKEA dataset from one currency to another. To do this, we would multiply each value in the price column by the desired conversion rate, that is of uh, 0 0.22. Now, let's accomplish the same task in Julia. In Julia, you can use transform. Here, the input column is price that gets processed by an anonymous function and the result is stored in a new variable called price underscore EUR. Let's say we want to alter the contents of a data frame column, such as the RNA column of DF in our case, that has RNA sequences. For instance, we might want to replace the AUG start codon with UUC and change the UAA stop codon to UJC. In bioinformatics, AUG marks the beginning of a protein while UAA signifies its termination. To achieve this, we will use Julia's transform function. This function allows us to create a new data frame with the specified transformations. Here we are using the replace function to change parts of our RNA strings that match specific patterns using regular expression. So the caret symbol signifies the start of a string. This matches any RNA sequence starting with AUG and replaces that AUG with UUC. On the other hand, uh, UAA dollar sign targets the end of a string. Therefore, it identifies all sequences that end with UAA and replaces these with UGC. <laughs> 